Welcome to Charusat Chat Room. We have with us today Dr. Darshan Patel. He is the principal of Charutar Institute of Paramedical Sciences, Charusat. Namaskar, Namaskar Dr. Darshan Patel. Welcome to Charusat Chat Room. Darshan sir, I would like to uh, begin with asking you to describe in very uh, briefly about CIPS. Oh uh, well, uh, CIPS uh, is Charutar Institute of Paramedical Sciences, which is one of the constituent institute of Charutar University of Sciences, uh, Science and Technology. That's we called as Charuset. Uh, we started uh, the institute in the year two thousand sixteen. with different programs uh, like uh, medical imaging technology operation theater anesthesia technology optometry medical technology which is famously known as medical laboratory technology medical Op- laboratory technology, technology right these all programs are of four years uh, that uh, includes three years of academics plus clinical uh, training and one year full internship One year is total internship, internship in the hospitals. With the hospitals, right? Right. Uh, all these programs are uh, we are offering in close coll- collaboration with Charuset Hospital. In Charuset Hospital, obviously, we have a lot of uh, multi-speciality uh, in the hospital, and we are offering to the patient. Gradually, we have added uh, the master in medical laboratory technology, and then uh, from this academic year, we have started the PhD in medical laboratory. That means, I mean, you are gradually moving towards higher education. Exactly. Uh, exactly. That uh, to is the, to the topmost level of higher education. That is our aim. Oh. That's that's excellent. Listen, sir, I would like to know one thing. I mean, this CIPS concept, hmm. this paramedical science, is a recent addition. I mean, it's not very old uh, addition into the world of uh, uh, medical science. Yeah. So how how uh, uh, you look into uh, this uh, uh, CIPS concept in the health industry over the years? It has grown. Well, uh, by and large in India, the healthcare professionals um, means to serve the common people when they are with some disease. Uh, the ratio between the professionals, like clinicians or uh, the surgeons or uh, diagnostic people uh, versus patient was very poor and still it is there especially i mean there was a big, big gap, gap 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 between patient and the professionals now what has happened in that case that the effective the medical uh, service delivery to the patient was at the decline what is our aim is to create the skillful people uh-huh. which can really bridge play a bridging role between patient and the uh, professionals excellent i mean that's what the the next thing i'm i'm about to ask you that how this paramedical science has contributed to the healthcare industry i mean you have spoken a bit of it but if you can really elaborate on it uh Say for example, uh, uh, let me tell you that uh, as the science and technology progress, new new uh, way of uh, diagnosis, new way of uh, treating the are patient evolving. are evolving. Yes. Now, uh, to to you know the, the uh, to maintain uh, those services to the patient, obviously it will give a better service to the patient. But who will do? So for paramedical is, paramedical uh, these people now i would like to say this paramedical science as allied healthcare science that's that's the exact what which i was trying to look at allied healthcare service, service. i mean that's a new new thing which has come out exactly. in into the exactly. medical world altogether hmm. that's excellent your association with cips since long hmm. what you think are the major research achievements of cips see there are a lot of scopes if the uh, faculties and students work in close association with the clinicians then there are a lot of scopes that we can come up with better delivery to the patient uh, say for example if doctor knows something that this is happening again and again 
to a patient. And there is to a patient, and then there is, uh, at, at that time there is no solution. If the uh, clinicians describe this thing to the allied healthcare people, they can do some research, uh, and they can come up with uh, some solution so that patients get benefit. One. Second is like what we do now. What uh, at Paramedical Institute? What we do that uh, we have certain expertise uh, with the faculties Correct. that they do uh, some uh, research. Say for example, microbiology, medical microbiology. Now uh, there is medical a, microbiology, biology. right? Now then, uh, now if we look at you know the scenario, the bacteria or especially the pathogens. They are evolving day and day night uh, with the uh, resistance. Now we are uh, working on it, how to control uh, and uh, so what. So it's more of a backup support exactly. to the Back entire exactly. Uh, uh, exactly. medical uh, uh, exactly. work. Exactly. That's that's uh, the the major. Exactly. So the, your research work is in fact hmm. helping the progress of medical science exactly. in a great way. Great. That's that's really important which I was about to really look into. Tell me sir, what is the future career prospective of the students who are who are uh, in your institute? As of now, uh, as the sci medical science is uh, developing in India, the we can see the real transformation in the hospitals. Now it is like day day by day it is turning into the modern hospitals. In India, we need really need uh -huh. this kind of skillful people so that so that they can work twenty four by seven. We definitely there are a lot That's of That's a very users. catching word that you are you are really looking into the skill of your students exactly. who can really serve twenty four by, by seven, seven. seven. In, in, in the so, medical world. So that you know the uh, students are well aware with the new technology. One second students or the uh, specialist uh, skillful person is available 24 by 7. That's, that's So far it has not happened in India. A patient uh, was heavily dependent on the clinician's time because the number of clinicians or medical professionals were low. And that's you have, earlier also you have mentioned the same thing, there's a huge gap. Yes. So, I mean, by virtue of this particular discipline, the gap is really narrowing down. Uh, exactly. That's that's very important. And with a country like India, exactly. I mean, there is a great need of this kind of personnel. That is there. It is country like India. We are a highly populated uh, uh, nation uh, and we have the, a lot of medical problems as well. That is the prime objective of uh, the allied healthcare science. And second is like to, to compete with the new, new technology. That means it's really the skill is required because science and technology is changing every year and every year. So automatically that new thought process are also being exactly. put into the practice because straight away. As new technology comes, definitely it is for the you know better service to the patient. But the who, pa who do? So this allied allied uh, team uh, yeah, are yeah. the right kind of fit into this system. Excellent. That's what you mean Excellent. to say. Excellent. Excellent, sir. Having described in details about the role of uh, paramedical science as a allied science, it uh, really encouraged me to ask you another question: that what exactly you think is the future of paramedical science in healthcare industry? Well, uh, future it's heavily dependent on the you know the problems which are really coming up year on year in the healthcare industry. Uh, what has happened uh, so far that we have addressed only one problem, we have ignored the other one. And that has uh, increased the load of uh, uh, different, you know, diversity of the uh, medical problems. That's right. And nature has that capacity to evolve year on year. In fact, in every day paper we find it. I be recently uh, something so has come I, from I China. believe I believe that these allied healthcare professionals are really required to fight against these challenges, and which are never going to stop anywhere. Every year it will come up with new challenge, and I I personally believe that allied healthcare people will play a big role to fight against these odds. I mean, so to say that this allied science. 
uh, under under the under the broad purview of paramedical science is really going to play a very important role exactly. to to really face the challenges of the medical uh, exactly. world which is happening exactly thank you so much sir thank you please like share subscribe and comment thank you Thank <laughs> you.